right, everybody. Good morning. Welcome to Hot Joe and the Ranko Show, episode 22. It is March 31st. Let's have a little coffee. Mm-hmm. All right. Well, out the weather window, I think it's 47 degrees. It is windy and it is raining. So, supposed to be building some cabinets here from home for a client. So, uh, staying out of the way of folks. I did a home inspection yesterday, which was nice. Empty home. Went in, inspected, in, out, gone. Didn't have to come in contact with anybody. So, what are you guys doing now that the coronavirus has pretty much taken over everything? Uh, let's get some comments. Uh, could you comment uh, down below? Are you still working? Is your business closed? Uh, how's that going? Um, I'm still doing stuff, uh, still working because I'm in construction and so... That's been deemed still essential. So the stuff I'm doing is for people. Um, I'm just staying out of contact with people and fixing plumbing issues or what are structural stuff or whatever. And then again, like I said, I can still do my home inspection. So fortunately, I'm still working some, not near as much though. Um, phones kind of stopped ringing. People don't want you around. So, and I totally understand that um, with families with kids and stuff. So what are you doing to occupy yourselves and are you going a little stir crazy? <laughs> and uh, I've only been shopping one time since this whole thing started and I've talked about that in the last episode because um, I'm generally relatively prepared for uh, for this kind of stuff. So I just, um, I'm not a prepper by any means, but I just like to be prepared. I'm an Eagle Scout. Come on, man. Um, so I had plenty of paper towels and toilet paper and, you know, basically all the essentials and stuff. So... Anyway, but I have noticed a disturbing um, disturbing thing that's been going on. So yesterday I was at Home Depot. I had to get supplies for a job that I was doing to build cabinets today here at the house. So I had to get plywood and some different uh, lumber and stuff. And I noticed this entire family just wandering around Home Depot, just looking at stuff, touching everything. And they're, I mean... They're just shopping for flowers and, and like mulch and just kind of wandering up and down each aisle. And every time I would come down an aisle to get something, I would have to go around the other aisle and come back because they were basically taking up the entire aisle. And it was like three little kids and a husband and a wife and whatever. And it was just like, what are you doing here? Like, I mean, I understand people going stir crazy or whatever, but take your kids to the park or something. Don't take them to... Home Depot where people are still trying to work and, you know, you need to limit, you know, I don't even like going in there, um, but I got to go in there for certain things. And so I'd keep my distance and everybody's pretty good about it, but there's just certain people. They just, they don't get it. It's like, stay home. If you don't need to be out, just stay home. Um, so I decided since, uh, I was doing work and I was over, near my local tractor supply, I had to go in and get a couple things and I noticed they had chickens. So I was like, chickens, I could get some chickens. I've always wanted chickens. I raised bees here on my property and I uh, brew my own beer and I made a big bag of beef jerky last night. Um, so I like to do things myself. I like to, you know, self-support. Um, so I've always wanted chickens, but I never really, I was kind of like, eh, I don't really know if I have the time for them, whatever. Well, I took care of some of my neighbor's chickens about a year ago. And I was like, you know, this is pretty easy. You just can give them vegetable table scraps and, you know, little bits of leftover lettuce and then feed them their regular feed and, and you get eggs out of the deal. So it's a pretty good, pretty good thing. And so since I'm a builder, I can build them a chicken coop very easily. Um, maybe I'll put a picture or something of my new chicks in here in a second, but, um, uh, they are, they're, they're super cute. I got uh, two Rhode Island Reds and two Brown Sex Linked. Um, so they're all supposed to be good egg producers. I think they, both of those produce large brown eggs. So I'm um, excited about that. They won't be producing for till the end of summer. So probably won't have any eggs this summer, but it'll be a fun experiment anyway. But, um, and it was nice because I went into Tractor Supply and there was like, literally two people in the entire store. So that was nice. Got to stay away from everybody. Um, but yeah, it's just, um, it's weird what people are doing and still some people are still doing the same things. 
I still think we're getting a little bit of media overblow. Uh, there's still times where there's a little unnecessary just scaring the crap out of people. Um, excuse me, that I don't think is necessary. I still think they're overblowing certain things. I, I mean, I think it's an extremely serious um, de- thing we're dealing with. Obviously, there's people that are dying from it. And uh, Joe Diffie, I'm, I've also been a country music drummer for a long period of time. And Joe Diffie just passed away from complications of coronavirus. So that's terrible. Um, and I know John Prine has got it. And I don't know how Tom Hanks and his wife are doing. I haven't seen anything lately. I hope they're doing okay. And Hopefully they're recovering. Um, you know, my brother's been taking my mom groceries and stuff, and he just sits him by the front door because my mom's up in age and we don't want to have contact with her and possibly compromise her. So it's just a really weird time. It's something that we've never faced in the United States, so we're just having to uh, take it one day at a time. So sorry I haven't had a lot of content lately. i just uh, been busy. I've been doing more Facebook stuff on my personal page been going live and I'll probably go live a little later this morning just to kind of chat with my friends. I, I really enjoy that. Um, so everybody just take care of yourselves make sure you're washing your hands and, um, you know, soap and water is definitely better than uh, hand sanitizer because you're actually getting the stuff off your hands. Uh, you don't need antibacterial soap. You just need some soap and some hot water. So, just take care. Please put some comments below of what are you doing to occupy yourself during this time. Um, hopefully I'll see you back here. Maybe on third. it's Tuesday today. Maybe I'll see you on Thursday. Um, just been kind of hanging out on Facebook a little bit, keeping in contact with people. And, uh, like I said, sorry, I hadn't been putting out content, but you know, coronavirus has definitely taken over, uh, pretty much everything. So that's what's on everybody's mind. So y'all have a great day. I love you. Be safe. Wash your hands. And as my pops used to say, can't soar with eagles if you hang out with turkeys. All right. Have a great day. I love you. Bye-bye.